Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Before we begin, of course, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 and we also want to give double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men whom rule well, the men who taught us this truth. All right, who are worthy of double honors, and you know, Shalom or Barakim to the elect of the nation of Israel, which the nation of Israel consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those of you that descend from Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans on your father's side. All right. Uh, so pretty much, you know, we're going to get uh, into some scriptures, you know, and speaking about the times, pretty much the time that we're living in right now, which is a time of war. OK, and of course, we're not saying go pick up arms or nothing like that. All right. Because us Israelites, we are spiritual people. All right. And we are to spiritually prep. OK, the words that are contained within the scriptures is what we need. It's what's going to keep us stable in the times that are to come. OK. Because the scriptures wrote about the times that are to come, and we know that according to the signs, all right, that time of trouble is coming in our lifetime, all right, in this generation, okay? So we're going to get the first scripture. Go ahead, bro, because we're going to stick to the word of the Lord, okay? Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Yeah, exactly, all right? So what's being said here, that right now is a high time to awake out of sleep? Okay, right now is the time to start putting on the words, all right, to start, Salakia, to start uh, pretty much, you know, reading the scriptures and start to consume the role, all right, and start to build up your faith and build up your personal relationship with Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, all right? That's what time it is right now, all right? Because what did Apostle Paul say in the First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, the uh, fifth chapter? Ye brethren are not in darkness, okay? Well, how are we not in darkness? Because we have the word, okay? Yeah. We got, uh, yeah, go ahead. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than, than we believe. Yeah, because the second coming of Hamashiach Yahweh is soon to come. That's in this lifetime, all right? Because, you know, back then, they asked the Lord before he, you know, ascended back uh, back into, before he descended into heaven, right? What, they asked him if at this time will he restore the kingdom unto Israel? At that time back then, it wasn't the time. But guess what? At this time, all right, we're getting, we're that close, okay? Mm -hmm. we're, we're pretty, hey, it's this generation, man, all right? Lord's willing, it'll be soon, man. And how do we know that? According to the times, according to the signs, the things that were written within the scriptures, we look up and we can see what's going on around us, what's spoken about in the scriptures, okay? Go ahead. Uh, that was it? Well, that's actually one more verse. Okay, go ahead. Verse 12, the night is forspent, the day is at hand. Yep. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, exactly, man. All right, so what are we supposed to be doing? Building up our faith in Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're going to go to the next scripture. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 3. Yep. Three, three and one, and then we're going to yep. skip down to eight. Go ahead. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse one. To everything, there is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, exactly. All right. There's a time to every purpose under the heaven. There's a time to every purpose here on earth, right? What, what, what time are we living in? Well, right now, we're not living in the time <clears throat> for Israel to go out, right, put fringes on their t-shirts and start making music videos. That's not what the time that we're living in, all right? We're not living in times to go have Israelite weddings, okay? We're not living in times for you to start families purposely, all right? Because there are, you know, brothers that do end up having kids, but that, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about those Israelites, what, that put on... We're talking about the carnal jakes, man, that aren't watching, all right? The foolish ones, okay? Back, backyard barbecues. Yeah, back, having barbecue burgers and burgers and fringes, man. All the time, though. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're not... What, what time are we in right now? Just go ahead and get that, verse 8. Yep, same chapter, uh, Ecclesiastes 3, jumping down to verse 8. Mm -hmm. A time to love yep. and a time to hate. Mm -hmm. A time of war. Here we are. What? What was that? And a time of war. A time of war. And a time of peace. Yeah, and right now the time of peace is not it, all right? The time of peace is not right now. Right now is the time of war. How do we know it's the time of war? Because first off, Esau, Edom is ruling, okay? <clears throat> what does that let us know? That lets us know there's still prophecies that need to come to pass, all right? Their fall has to come. And you can clearly see what's going on, man. All right, you clearly see that America, slowly but surely, Salakia, I'm not even going to say slowly but surely, but you see America falling, man, all right? Mm -hmm. The wickedness is increasing, all right, angering the Heavenly Father, all right, which is going to, um, eventually, you know, the Lord is going to bring mass judgment unto America, as it is written within the scriptures. It says he would destroy uh, the sinful kingdom, okay, which that sinful kingdom is America, all right, obviously, all right, this place spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, like how it says in Revelations, the 11th chapter. All right, Salakia, so that was Revelations 11 and 8, I believe. But um, pretty much, man, 
So right now is a time of war, right? What do you see? You hear wars and rumors of wars, man. All right, but the end is not yet, like it says in Matthew's the twenty fourth chapter. All right, the words of our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai. All right, but since it's a time of war, what are you Israelites ought to be doing? Consuming the role, building up your faith, man. All right, uh, we're gonna get it really quickly. Isaiah thirty three and six. Okay. okay. Anything else you want me to get? We're gonna get that one, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna jump to Jeremiah thirty right after that. Yep. Because like Salakia. Because uh, like like I, like we just read Salakia, like I, like I mentioned and like we read right now, right, is a time of war, okay? Because what uh, Esau's in rulership soon to come is Israel's rulership, which will last forever, right? Well, that lets us know that that we're not in a time to be out here chilling, okay? Right now we're in we're serving our captivity, which is coming to an end, all right? Because Esau's end is Jacob's beginning. Go ahead. This is um, Isaiah chapter mm -hmm. thirty three verse six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Yep. And strength of salvation, mm -hmm. the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, exactly, all right? So being being in the good graces of Yahweh, while Yahweh shy, what? He gives you wisdom and knowledge, understanding of the scriptures, right? Well, guess what? Things written a fourth time were written for our learning. What we acquired from the scriptures, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given us, man, that this was going to keep us stable in those times, you know? Lord willing, we are of the chosen, because ultimately it comes down to predestination. All right, but we do know wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and strength of salvation. Okay, so you're not supposed to be out here partying. You're supposed to be consuming the scriptures, man. All right, and I'm not for the simple ones. I'm not talking about literally. All right, we're talking about studying. All right, getting into the word and building up your faith in Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, being a, a, a spiritual warrior. All right, so we're gonna go to Jeremiah 30, and I'm, we're gonna start at five. Okay. Because it said, Salakia, if I could say real quick, it said, Wisdom knowledge will be the stability of thy times. What time is that talking about? That time specifically is talking about what, man? What's to come? Jacob's trouble, which is going to be talked about in Jeremiah. Go ahead. Uh, yep, this is Jeremiah, the book yep. of Jeremiah, chapter 30, starting at verse 5. Yep. I'll start at verse 4 for context. Yeah, yeah. It says, And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and mm -hmm. concerning Judah. Yeah, who is that? Israel and Judah? Northern and Southern Kingdom. So you so-called Negroes would be what? The Southern Kingdom, you uh, Judites, Benjamites, and Levites. All right? And who is uh, the Northern Kingdom, man? That would be you Latinos and Native Americans, so-called. All right? You know, Ephraim on down, you know, when you look at the sign. Okay? So that's concerning who, man? That's concerning the, the, the descendants of the man, the man named Israel. Go ahead. Because we know Israel is a people before it's a place. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 5. But thus mm -hmm. saith the Lord, mm -hmm. we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Yeah, so so we know that the words of the Lord are faithful and true. So if the Lord is telling you, what did you, what did it say? So like you read it again? Yeah, verse five again. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard we have heard a voice of trembling, yep. of fear, and not of peace. Yeah, exactly. So when we hear these things, man, all right? When we hear these things, we know we know exactly what time it is, all right? Mm -hmm. Because you know, uh, real quick, referring to camp, we read uh, scriptures, man, to a group of niggas, and they didn't care. They weren't in fear, all right? But when we read these things and then see what's going on around us, all right, we have that fear, okay? Because we know these things are going to happen, all right? The Heavenly Father told us this, so what does that mean? Get your faith right, all right? That means cleave unto Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Go ahead. Verse 6, uh -huh. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Right. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Yeah, and we know men don't have children. All right? So what is this saying? What is what is the prophet uh, Jeremiah, which in the Hebrew his name is Jeremiah, what is, he, what is he trying to say here? Keep reading. Yep. And all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, exactly. The men are going to be so fearful that they're going to, you know, like, um, I believe the Shar, the Rashar Kassab broke it down, you know, uh, talking about that pale face. Right when people are so afraid that they just look like like these, you know that that saying, you look like you've seen a ghost, man. Mm -hmm. You know they're gonna be in so much fear. They're gonna be, you know, hey, what what does a woman do when when she's she's having a child when she's giving birth, man? She's screaming and yelling in pain, man. All right, that's because men don't have babies, man. All right, that that's how bad of a time it's gonna be. That men are gonna be, you know, out here screaming like little like little women. All right. <laughs> yeah, like since it's a cry, the mighty man. Yeah, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> And that, and guess what, man? That's the words of the Lord, man. All right. If doesn't, if that doesn't put fear in your heart, if that doesn't move you with fear, like how Noah did, all right, spoken about in Hebrews eleven, if that doesn't move you, all right, to go and serve the Lord and to get in good graces with Him, <laughs> hey, come on, man. What will, man? Go ahead. 
Yep. Verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, yep. so that none is like it. Uh-huh. It yeah, is. exactly. So that none is like it, man. All right? So th this didn't happen back then in the time of Jeremiah, that time being spoken of, man. That's this. That stuff is going to... Those things, that time is never... What's well, going to happen in these times, man? Go ahead. It says, so that none is like it, yep. it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah, Jacob, who, who what's that talking about? All right, Jacob is what? Israel. His name was later changed to Israel. That's not, that's that's talking about a people before it's a place. That's talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, because that time of trouble, all right, we're all going to go through it. Okay, the elect will be saved out of it. Two-thirds will be wiped out. Okay, so uh, was that the, uh, was that the whole thing? So, uh, it says, but he, yeah, should, but he should be saved out of Yeah, it. that he is talking about the elect, all right? And that's the times that we read about in Isaiah 33 and 6, all right? So you being in good graces with Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai is what's going to get you delivered in those times, all right? Not having guns, not having food prepared and, and, and bug out bags and such, all right? That's not going to help you. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, as the scriptures say, okay? Mm -hmm. So next, you know, now we know what, man? That that's, since we know that the season that we're living in is a time of war, all right, we know that now. We know that to uh, to be delivered in those times, we get into the good graces with Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because what, man? Pretty much the next scripture we're gonna get, uh, yeah, we're gonna get Revelations twelve, mm -hmm. twelve and twelve. All right, because what? We know that that time of great wrath. Who who's gonna be? Because that time of great wrath is not just gonna be like, just any you know old time, man. It's it's a specific group of it's a specific nation coming after the nation of Israel. Which nation is that? The profane man, the man of sin, the son of perdition. Mm -hmm. All right. What are these? What do these things mean? We're talking about the Edomites, man, the so-called white man. All right. Who we know that the so-called white man, the man calling himself a Caucasian, a European. All right. Calling himself out of whatever land he was born. All right. Because you know we got a lot of those Edomites that that come out talking about some. Oh, I was born in Mexico, so I'm Mexican. No. All right. Don't work like that. You are who your father is. All right. We're talking about the Edomites, right? the so-called white man, the one calling himself European, Caucasian, all right? <clears throat> That's the man who's going to uh, who's gonna be pretty much against the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. okay? Because he has had a perpetual hatred for us, man. Get that in Revelation. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12, <clears throat> verse 12. Yeah. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, mm -hmm. and ye that dwell in them, Con. both to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. What does woe mean? Destruction. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, end of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, mm -hmm. having great wrath, yeah. because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Yeah, and, and what does the word devil mean, man? It goes back to the word diablos, which means deceiver, all right? Who is that, man? Who's the biggest deceiver on this planet Earth, man? All right? The so-called white man, man. All right? The, the, the so-called white man, the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, okay? So, we know that the, uh, the so-called white man, what, man? The elites, they have a plan, man, all right? What's their plan? To establish their new world order? Okay, they're going to pretty much, you know, implement martial law. All right, they're going to crash the economy, implement martial law, order out of chaos. As a matter of fact, really quickly, we have it lined up. Get mm -hmm. Second Ezra 16, mm -hmm. uh, chapter 16, verses 70 through 71, you know, because I just wanted to really touch on that real quick because... Uh, 70 through 71. Yeah, 70 through uh -huh. 71. Hold it real quick. Because what, man? The so-called white man is going to come down having great wrath. All right, so what are those things that are going to happen, right? We got martial law, all right? I know brothers know about, you know, the different plans that they have, man. All right. You can look up these things too, man. All right. So, um, martial law is going to be implemented, man. All right. The higher ups are going to implement these things, man. All right. Because what's their plan, man? The plan is to capture everybody, man. The plan is to capture, uh, 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 and they, who, they, who do they target, man? Israelites, man. All right. They're going to be targeting the men of the Lord as well, man. All right. And what, man? They want to chip everybody, man. All right. But we're going to get scriptures because what, man? Their plans are going to fall, man. They're going to fail. All right. The scriptures say that they're going to build up, but the Lord's going to throw, throw it down. Okay? Yep. So go ahead and get that. This is um, Second Esther chapter 16. Yeah, because we just read in Revelations, the devil come down on you having great wrath. Okay? So get that real quick. Yep, Second Ezra 16 and 70. Yeah, which Ezra, or the prophet Ezra, he saw visions, man. When you read Ezra uh, uh, 15 and 16, man, all right? Just, just to name a few, man, what? He, he spoke about the things that he saw, man. He spoke about uh, this place being plagued. All right, Egypt, this place is spiritually called Egypt, right? Well, guess what? He said that it's going to get plagued as before. 
Okay, that's letting you know it's talking about uh, uh, the new Egypt, America, not ancient Egypt. So go ahead. Second mm -hmm. Ezra 16 and 70. Yeah. For there shall be in every place mm -hmm. and in the next cities a great insurrection upon mm -hmm. those that fear the Lord. Yeah, exactly, man. That's who upon who, man? The Israelites. All right. I'm going to get the word insurrection really quickly on Edom Online. Unless you know the definition already. Um... Well, I, I think I do, but it's better to get it. Yeah, Edom Online, insurrection, insurrection, a noun, and civil it says authority. an uprising against civil authority. Yeah, and that's exactly what's going to happen. A rising up, you know, to rise up. That's exactly what's going to happen, man. All right? You're going to have people, all right, rising up, man. All right? Uh, uh, against the uh, the government and such like that, man. You're going to have people, you know, the carnal, carnal, carnal niggas, okay? They're going to be doing things like that, you know, out here, you know, Fighting with each other because the race wars are prophesied within the scriptures. Okay, so you're gonna have uh, chaos out here, man. And that's what what when they're gonna implement martial law. Okay, implementing curfews and such. Okay, mm -hmm. we know how this devil gets down. No exceptions. Yeah, yeah exactly, man. All right, there's gonna be concentration camps. All right, we're gonna be chipping people. They're gonna have guillotines. Gu guillotines. I can't yeah, yeah, pronounce yeah. this. No, Salaki. It. Okay, come. You know, and go ahead and read it again. If I say it's gonna yeah. be, it's gonna be worse than the problem at the border. Or you see, you see, uh, Issachar and Zebulon amongst the other tribes as well mm -hmm. are being uh, being in cages. But guess what, man? The times that are coming, it's gonna be way worse than that. It's gonna make uh, that look like freaking Walmart, man. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you know. So, so in that time, it's gonna be way worse. All all these stores like Costco, uh, the, these uh, uh, super store, these uh, super WalMarts, Targets, all right, you know, IKEA, all all these huge places that that, that is just made to to store to to store like furniture and all these things and uh, uh, other products. They're they're gonna store what humans, man. Mm -hmm. Specifically, what we, we we just read it in uh, uh, Jeremiah, yeah, Jeremiah thirty, right? The 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 fourth verse, Judah and uh, Judah and Israel, man, all, all of you, man, yeah, so called Negroes, uh, so called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, yeah, and like we read in Jeremiah thirty and seven, that he shall be saved out of it, because the elect is gonna overcome those things. The elect will be delivered, man. The elect will get the victory. Yeah. All right. At the end of the day, that's what's prophesied, and that's what's gonna happen. The elect will get the victory. So read the uh, are you 71. at seven seventy one? Yeah. Get that. Verse 71. Yep. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Yep. That's it. Let's talk about you Edomites, man. All right. Let's talk about what they're going to be doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're going to be out here getting rid of Jake left and right, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And who's going to be delivered out of that? Who's going to be untouched? The elect. Yep. They're going to get the victory. Go ahead. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yep. That, who, yeah. who are those that fear the Lord? Israel, man. Yeah. It's going to be okay. worse. It's going to be worse than the uh, that massacre at the mosque in New Zealand, man. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's going to be 10 times worse. Mm hmm. You know? uh, Daniel's the 12th chapter, first verse says, as time as never was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yep, it's going to be as time as never was. We're going to get the last scripture, Job mm -hmm. 20 and 23. Yep. Okay? Because what, man? Ultimately, what? These elites want to implement, you know, what they want to do. Habakkuk 2 says, heapeth unto him all people. That's exactly what they're doing here in America. Okay? And what, man? The, these uh, Edomites want to want to uh, implement their new rule order. They want to chip everybody. But guess what, man? That's not going to happen. All right? Let's say the scriptures. You said verse 22? Uh, start at twenty three. Okay. okay. Uh, this is uh, just get to the point. Which this is this point. is Job chapter twenty, verse twenty three. Mm -hmm. And when he is about to fill his belly, yeah, when when the the so called white <clears throat> man man he 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 thinks he's gonna fulfill whatever he wants to do. Go ahead. Yeah. How about Shimi Habashai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him? Yeah, man. All right. America is gonna be rain is gonna be hit with with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, we just seen uh, China bragging about that. That uh, you want to talk about it real quick? Oh yeah, that no, yeah. That recently, it was about five days ago. Uh, China was parading around their new military hardware, kind of. uh, specifically like aircrafts, tanks, you know, m modern armor, things like that. Mm -hmm. But the one thing that stood out was uh, the one thing that they, that they were most bragging about mm -hmm. was their, their new device called the um, I can't remember the official name, but but the short version of it is the D uh, the DF forty one missiles, man, mm -hmm. the ICBMs, all right. Come on. All right, and that's like uh, according to the news reports as of right now of twenty nineteen, that's like the fastest missile known to man right now, uh, mm -hmm. according to reports. You yeah. See, you know, it's just showing me that what the Most High is putting the spirit on these nations to cast uh, uh, total indignation, man. The, the, hey, the scriptures talk about the weapons of his in, of his indignation. Mm -hmm. You know, and, that, and that's just one example, man. Because you believe every nation around the world has access to nuclear weapons at this point. Yeah, the scriptures right. say that the weak shall will say, I am strong. Oh, yeah, exactly, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, uh, finish it up. Yep. Job uh, 20 and 23. Yep. When he is about to fill his belly, yeah. Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him mm -hmm. and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yep. He's going to rain thermonuclear missiles on America and the elect, all right, the elect is going to be delivered. Okay. Yeah. Point blank period. The elect will get the victory. All right. As a matter of fact, we're going to end uh, with uh, Revelation 15 and 2. Oh. 
Yeah. It says, mm-hmm. yeah, it says, if I may say, it says yeah. while he's eating, meaning his, his, his plans of, of world domination and his plan of, of all of the whole world being under one banner, that's not going to come to fruition, man. Nope. Because nope. what what does scripture say? It says in Second Ezra, it says uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. So you're not going to rule forever, Esau. The scriptures say in Psalms 2, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? What's that vain thing? Salakia. As a matter of fact, we're going to we're gonna get oh. that one. Mm-hmm. But real quick, Salakia. We're going to get um, Zechariah. Okay. No, go ahead. Zechariah. I'm gonna get it. Then yeah. we're gonna we're gonna finish off with that one. Uh, Revelation 15 and two. Oh, okay. I'm is, gonna get re- wait not yet though. We're gonna get yeah. that one at the end, real quick. I just want to get this one because we spoke about the missiles. This mm-hmm. is Zechariah, 14 and 12, and this shall be the plague, which was the plague that's talking about the thermonuclear missiles, mm-hmm. where with the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. It says it says smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Who's Jerusalem? It's a people before it's a place. All right, let's talk about who the Israelites. Okay, their flesh shall shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Yeah, mm-hmm. how is that going to happen? Well, thermonuclear missiles, man. Mm-hmm. Thermonuclear fire can can do that. Mm-hmm. Not a flamethrower, but thermonuclear missiles. Yeah, if I may say, and this is why the Lord, the Lord only need, is only going to need one hour. Yeah, one yeah, hour yeah, for it to, to obliterate anything yep. that the Lord wants to, that the Lord is going to do. Mm-hmm. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Mm-hmm. Yep, those are the oh, things that's, that's coming twofold. to America. Yeah, Khan, that's twofold. You mm-hmm. want to break? You wanna oh yeah, over? yeah, because what it says, the, the eyes shall consume away in their holes. Not mm-hmm. only is that talking about physically, mm-hmm. you know, that 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 physical torment of that that nu- nuclear fire, Khan. but it, what it's talking about that false vision, man. Yep, you uh, uh want, wanting to put everyone. I uh, wanted to p- put that microchip in their hand or in their forehead. Mm-hmm. You, you really think that's gonna come to pass, man? But the Lord is gonna give you a, a total uh, 180 and just just blow your ass up, man. To, mm-hmm. to cinders, man. Yeah. Right. Yep. 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 Yeah. Cause what what's coming for uh for you uh you elites, man, and you you so called white people, man, is continual employment in the kingdom of Yashar Allah. Yep. All right. So to you heathen and you so called white people, man, Blah-blah. what awaits you is hardcore bondage. We're going to get that because we want to end it on a good note, you know, for uh, the elect. This Go is ahead. Uh, Revelations chapter 15, verse 2. Con. And they saw it as it were a sea of glass mingled mm-hmm. with fire. Con. And them that had gotten the victory. Now them, who is them? That's talking about the elect. Them that what? Go ahead. It says, and them that have that had gotten the victory over the yep. beast and over his image mm-hmm. and over his mark. Yeah, and over his mark because the elect's not going to take the chip. And the elect's going to be what? Delivered, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Go ahead. And over the number of his name, mm-hmm. stand on the sea, stand on the sea of glass. Yep, having the harps of the mo- of the Most High. Yeah, exactly, man. Because guess what? The elect's gonna see the destruction of America. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, re- the we're gonna see the reward of the wicked. Yep, exactly, man. All right. So with that, that was all the precepts that we wanted mm-hmm. to bring out. All right. We Lord will, man. We we hope that this lesson was edifying. All right. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, the bonus to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, the men who move well, the men who taught us this truth. Shalom, Barakim, to the, to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.